Okay, we're going to create a minimap in this video. So this is a like small uh, overview map based on a current tile map. So in order for this to work, you need a tile map defined, okay, with a load of tiles, and we need in our game container. And if you haven't got a game container, you need to ask, or you need to go and see the video about it. You need to make sure that the tile map you've created is stored. So I've got one here stored in current map call it whatever you want you can have don't start editing your own code just change the names as we go along okay so we're going to create a minimap so we'll call it minimap and we're going to pass it the map that we want to base it on which i've got here game map but it's stored in something called current map and i'm also going to give it a scale factor so i can change the size so i'm going to go for 10 percent so 0.1f all right so i'm going to generate that it doesn't exist as a class you can see it's created minimap zoom that in a little bit um, one thing I need is the libraries so copy all the libraries from another top of another file remember should be getting used to doing that um, this is going to be um, a public class um, and it's going to be it's going to be another tile map even though it's a minimap um, whoops click on thing um, it is still going to be a tile map so we're going to get the tile map manager to work with it and everything okay so we've created that got that set up we can go back to game container and get it to create the constructor now so right click generate constructor hopefully that'll go yeah eventually yours will be quicker because you're on SSDs right so I'm going to right click go to definition you'll notice that F12 does that as well Right, so it's taken and stored me map. Okay, and it's got this float P. So we know that scale. So we're going to just delete that, change it to scale. Now, while that little red marker's on, click on the rename P to scale, and it'll do that for me. Okay, so actually, this is quite a simple forward, straight, straightforward process. So we're going to build a map, but we're going to clone it. So we're going to say map. Um, in fact, I can't remember what it's called, but I know it's got clone in it somewhere. Set map clone from. Okay, so the picker, dead useful. Um, and the tile map we're going to clone is the current map that we've been given. Okay. Um, the next thing we need to do is we want some tiles. So we can say my tile list equals current map. We just want the same ones. Okay. Then we need to turn scaling on. So if we just left it like that, it would draw it all at the same time. So we need to scale. So what we need to do is go to render properties. And there is a scale factor there. So we can say scale factor. And that's going to be equal to the scale we were given. So we were given that as a second argument. OK, so that's the we got we passed the map and the size we wanted it to be. In order for scaling to work, we need to tell the tile map that it's got to create a matrix now this is a scaling matrix and we just say true okay right that is it that's the minimap we haven't positioned it yet so i'll show you that in a minute but let's just check this is working so that i set this in game container to be 10 percent so we've still got that player sprite there as well so if we run this hopefully we'll get a map with a map on top Oh, no, we haven't, because I've forgotten one simple step. I haven't added the minimap, so I can't remember where the minimap is, so let's go to definition. I haven't added the minimap to the time map manager. So, simple mistake, add this map. Okay, that and not adding a sprite to the engine manager are two common things to do. I do it all the time, because I forget as well. So, if we run it again... Hopefully it'll work. And there you go. So you can see the minimap in the top left hand corner. Which might not be where you want it. You might want to center it at the top of the screen. Okay, Or you might want to put it in the center of the screen. So I'll show you a couple of ways in which you can do that. Um, the other thing you can see is that my player controlled sprite, which is still working, is on top of it. So we need to alter the type of map it is. Okay, so let's 
Let's go back to the minimap definition. So I'm in my minimap and I'm going to say this dot type, not get type. Um, and we want tilemap type and we're going to say front. Okay, so this is drawn after any sprites. So if we run it, you'll see the effect of that, that the spirally thing, which is my nav sprite, goes behind. You can see it's behind it now. And you'll see that you've got all the little tiles there. That's quite quite funky, and you, you see the whole map. So let's um, center that. So we can say center, and you'll see there are loads of different ways of centering, but I'm just going to center the X position. So center map, tile map, and what area do I want it? Well, I want the screen area, so I'm going to say screen size, and we just leave it as that, because that's a rectangle. So it can accept a rectangle. So if I run that now, <coughs> you'll see that it's in the center of the screen. If I want to move it down a little bit, I can alter, let's say I want it to come down 16 pixels. I can say render properties. So I'm manually setting its position now. Uh, and if I look at the displacement dot Y, I need to make this a negative value. So I want to shove it down the screen. So I'm going to say it's equal to minus 16. So that will push it down 16 pixels. Or it won't push it down 16 pixels. Oh, we'll ignore that. That didn't happen, you didn't see that. Um, let's leave it, leave it as is in a minute and I'll show you a problem that we need to fix. As we move the viewport, you'll see that the minimap is scrolling. That's because it's responding to the engine's viewport movement commands. That's not really what we wanted to do. So we don't actually want the mi minimap to know anything about the viewport. So a setting that we can put in here is ignore viewport equals true, which says, right, well, we're, don't care where the viewport is. I want to just sit on the screen all the time in the same position because I'm not moving it. So now when I move around, you'll see that it doesn't move. If you want to show through the minimap a little bit, you can mess about with the alpha. So alpha, let's put it at 50%. So semi-transparent. And you'll see now, you can see through. So I'll see my player but I can still see the details. Obviously the um, debug output is in the way a little bit there. But that's just showing tiles. Purely tiles. Okay. Now that background tile is grey. So if I looked at the original map for that, that was the first tile. So tile note. So at what I could do is I could put a rectangle behind and alter it. If I went and edited the tile, it would alter the tile in the current list. So I'm being lazy, really, because I'm saying, oh, I'll use the tiles I've got. If you want to like build your own tile list for the minimap, you've got to have the same number that are in the original map. You can do that instead of doing this lazy line here. But this just says, oh, I'll just refer to the main maps tiles and just use them. I'm just shrinking them down. Okay, and that is all you need to do for a minimap. The basics of it. I'll show you how to create um, little minimap sprites that follow your sprites around as well in a minute.